This is the Bibby Stockholm Accommodation Barge. It's part of the government's latest plan to deal with the UK migrant crisis, where it will stay at Portland Port in Dorset for 18 months, costing the taxpayer £20,000 a day. In contrast, hotels for migrants cost £5.6 million a day. The boat's 222 bedrooms could house 500 male asylum seekers, but some local MPs and campaigners aren't happy. Well, these um, refugees that will be coming in, I presume that they're going some of them are going to need hospitals, doctors, schooling. Um, it's just going to affect the local area completely. And it's not the government's first solution to the problem. Here's all the times the government claimed to have solved the migrant crisis. April 2022 saw the government's plan to deport migrants who arrived in the UK via the channel crossing by boat to Rwanda. Then Prime Minister Boris Johnson called it a significant deterrent. But the first deportation flight in June was cancelled minutes before takeoff after multiple legal challenges and an intervention from the European Court of Human Rights. Fast forward to May 2023 and no asylum seekers have been sent to Rwanda so far. In March of this year, the government announced its so-called Illegal Migration Bill, which it said would stop the boats. It would see asylum seekers using small boats to get to the UK removed and then sent to their home country, or even safe countries such as Rwanda. On announcing it, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak had this to say about the plan. People must know that if they come here illegally, it will result in their detention and swift removal. Once this happens, and they know it will happen, they will not come and the boats will stop. Over 5,000 migrants have made the Channel Crossing so far this year. In January 2022, the government tried to address housing migrants by setting up the Manston short-term holding facility in Kent. But by October, that plan was in disarray. Designed to hold just 1,600 people, at its peak it held around 4,000 in what were described as like a zoo and a breach of humane conditions. Thousands of migrants were then moved out of the facility into hotels, and by the end of November, Manston was empty. Back to March of this year now, and the government's plan to house unauthorised migrants in ex-military bases. After rising costs and a backlog in hotels, the government stepped in. It announced sites to house migrants, including RAF Weathersfield in Essex and RAF Scampton in Lincolnshire, the former home of the Dam Busters. It's thought each site can hold up to 2,000 people, but it would be used to rehouse migrants rather than take in new arrivals. These sites are undoubtedly in the national interest. We have to deliver them if we're to stop the use of hotels. We have to deliver them to save the British public from spending eye-watering amounts accommodating illegal migrants. And we have to deliver them to prevent a pull factor for economic migrants on the continent taking hold. All the while, this year, the UK pledged to give France nearly half a billion pounds to help stop the boats. In a deal brokered in March of this year, it said the money would fund detention centres and add new patrol officers. The French will receive 478 million pounds over the next three years. Downing Street called the deal unprecedented and said in the future it will help deal with one of the government's top priorities, small boats. Accommodation for migrants should meet their essential living needs and nothing more because we cannot risk becoming a magnet for the millions of people who are displaced and seeking better economic prospects.